County Main Library and I am coming to you today with another fun at home with Miss Heather and I have a special guest. Beside me is my daughter Emmeline. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's going to help me with our fun at home video today. So if you watched our last story time from a couple of weeks ago, we read a story called Thunder Trucks by Cheryl Klein and Katie Beebe. Do you remember what happened in this story? Uh-huh. What did the trucks do in the clouds? Um, the trucks like to do thunder and stuff. Yes, they made a really big storm in the sky. They made hail and rain and wind and thunder and yep. lightning. Yeah, and they even made, like, they make hail and stuff. They were really fun, really, really fluffy. Yes. So we're doing a little activity today about weather. Since we read a story about some different kinds of weather mm -hmm. last story time, we're going to do a couple of different science experiments about weather today. We're going to make our own rainstorm, right? Yep. Yes. We are. So we have a couple of things that you need to gather before you get started. I've got a glass and it's clear so I can see through it and I've got it mostly filled up with water. You can fill it up halfway or yeah. a little bit more. Uh -huh. And then I have another cup. This has some water in it too. We're yeah. going to make this, what yeah. color? Blue. We're going to make this blue. So then we'll With need... food coloring. That's right. We'll need blue food coloring. And then we'll need a straw. Yeah, we did that straw into there. Yeah, we'll do that in just a second. And then I've got some white shaving cream. Uh-huh. And um, it doesn't really matter what brand it is, but if you have some shaving cream at home, we're going to use that in a second too. But first, let's go ahead and make... The water in our in one of our cups blue. Yeah, I can squirt it. Okay, let's do just a little bit. And parents or caregivers, this could get messy, so be sure that you're doing this either outside or on a surface that you don't mind getting a little messy that you can clean up later, um, or you can spread out a trash bag underneath you because this will get a little messy, but it will be fun. So now Emmeline is taking the straw and she's stirring that food coloring into the water. And if you can see, what color has it turned? Blue, blue water. So this is going to be our rain. <laughs> so now. We squirt that into there. That's right, we're going to make a cloud. Yeah, and it's gonna be pretty flesh on it. <laughs> yes. So if you have one that looks like ours, there's a little button on top. I'm going to Spray the shaving cream on top. Whoa, isn't that a lot? <laughs> so that's our cloud. We're going to pretend that that is a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it's gonna be like it's kind of fluffy, but before you touch it, you have to put your. If you like have wet gloves, you can use something like that. If you don't want your hands to get messy, you could wear some gloves. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, it's okay if your hands get messy. And yeah, if you if you if you if it's blue, you should be careful when you touch it. <laughs> That's true. Since you're using food coloring, you want to be careful not to get the food coloring on your clothes. Yeah, because, because it can, could stain. Yeah, it could sting, uh -huh. or it could kind of hurt a little bit. I don't think it will hurt. It yeah. won't hurt. It yeah, might I just don't. make a mark. Yeah, it might make a look. Yeah. So. So well, let's talk a do? little bit about clouds and rain. So when it rains outside. The ground gets wet, the, yes. the road gets wet, the yes. sidewalks get wet. Oh, and like the bushes get wet. Uh huh. And the trees get wet and the flowers. But it doesn't stay wet forever. Yeah, it doesn't stay wet forever. It what? just stops. What happens to the water when it dries? It. Where does the water go? Do you know? Uh huh. I know it goes. Where do you think? It goes. It goes. It goes back up, it, up in the clouds, right? That's right. It's called evaporating. So the water on the ground, as it dries, it evaporates and it joins the air. It becomes a gas and it becomes part of the air. And then it will float up to the clouds, right? Yeah. And, so and then, when it floats up to the clouds, it will go and find air and become thunder. <laughs> Maybe, sometimes. Or it could just be a regular rainstorm. So when your clouds, when so much water um, combines in a cloud, the cloud is holding so much water that it needs to rain again. That's called precipitation. So when it rains again and the water falls back down to the ground, that's precipitation. 
that's what we're going to do for this experiment. We've got our cloud. We're going to fill our cloud up with water, with rain, so that it's going to rain again. So this is where you need your straw. So a trick, let me show them how to do this first and then you can do some. So when you're using a straw in water, there's a fun trick that you can use to pick water up out of a cup. So I'm going to dip my straw into our blue water cup, just like that. Then I'm going to use one of my fingers to cover up the hole at the top of the straw. Yeah. Leave your finger on top of that hole, lift the straw out, and if I move my finger from the hole at the top, look at that. The water was stuck inside of the straw. As long as my finger's covering that hole, the water will stay stuck in the straw. If I move my finger from the hole, it will fall back out. It's creating a little vacuum there. So what we're going to do is dip our straw in, cover the hole with your finger, so you've got water inside of your straw. Now move your straw over to your cloud, let go of the hole, and drop the rain into the cloud. Can I try? Yeah, go ahead. So we're gonna do this several times, and the more we do it, the more blue water or the more rain mm -hmm, is going to get inside of our cloud. And as our cloud fills up with rain, we're going to see water fall or rain fall inside of the water in our cup. You got it covered? And then you can move it over through the cloud. That's right, let it go. Good job, let's do a few more. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put my finger on, okay? If you have a straw, if you don't have a straw, that's fine. You can get one. You could just pour it. If you have an eyedropper, you could use an eyedropper. Or if you don't have a straw, that's okay. You could just very carefully and gently pour the blue water into your cloud in the cup. And it will work the same way. Good job. So you might have to do this a few times. Emeline, would you mind handing me one of those white napkins over there, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. There we go. There so we go. I'm going to hold this white napkin. This will be make it a little easier for you to see. So if I hold this white napkin up behind it, do you see any blue rain inside of the water in our jar? Can you keep adding more rain to our uh -huh, I can. cloud? Thank you. Do you see any rain fall down in the water? I, I didn't see anything. Let's see. Let's look a little closely. I think I see some blue water right at the top. And the more rain we add to our cloud. Ooh, I see some blue coming in there. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Our cloud's starting to rain. Our cloud is getting full of water and it's starting to precipitate rain into the jar. It's coming through that hole, through the cup. Mm-hmm. Through the cloud, and it's raining inside of our glass. Way to go. So you can try this at home. You don't have to use blue. You could use other colors. You could make green rain. Oh, can I do, can I we could, <laughs> like, you could do red, orange, mm -hmm. red, blue, green. But it doesn't matter what color you use. But you could use blue with us too but don't forget to don't forget to have fun with your color and do any color you like yeah even orange even orange you can make orange rain you could make red rain but that's really cool see the blue water is starting to fall into our cup that means our cloud is precipitating it's full of rain way to go Emmeline good job all right, so this is a fun experiment you can try at home. And you know what? I think, I haven't tried this, but my guess is if you don't have any shaving cream at home, if you have some whipped cream that you can eat, I think it would work the same way. If you have a little container of whipped cream, you could probably squirt some whipped cream on top of the water and use it the same way for the cloud. And I think it would work just as well to create a rain cloud in your jar.
Yeah. All right, and we've got another experiment yep, for you. We'll yep. get set up and we'll be right back. So for the next part of our experiment, we've moved outside and this will definitely work better on a sunny day. If you're going to try to do this on a cloudy day, I don't think it will work very well. So you'll have to wait until you have some sunshine. And we moved outside so we could have the most sunshine we could get. Uh -huh. We are going to try to make a rainbow. That's right. We're going to try to make a rainbow. So today for our rainbow, we've got a clear glass that yep. we put some water in. Uh -huh. And then we just have a plain white piece of paper. And I thought it would be fun to try to make a rainbow because sometimes after a rainstorm, like we just made, you get a rainbow. And let's see if we can make a rainbow with the water in our glass. So what happens to make a rainbow is when the sky has finished raining, there's still a lot of water in yeah. the air. Uh -huh. There's plenty of much water to make the storm. And when the sun comes back out after a rainstorm, the sunlight shines through the water droplets in the air and the light gets refracted, which means you can see the different colors. See, look at that. Inside the sunlight. Do you see the rainbow bouncing around on the paper? There's some dancing rainbows. So the sunlight is shining through the water in my glass and the water is refracting the light and it's breaking it up into the different colors yeah. so that you can see them yeah. on and the when piece you, of paper. And when you see all those colors, it's like, it's like this rainbow. It's a beautiful rainbow. Look at all those rainbows. So this takes some practicing. You've got to take your glass out and move it around a lot Look in the sunshine. Look at there's a rainbow right there. Yeah. You've got to get the angle. You've got to kind of fiddle around with the angle of the glass and the paper. But once you get it, you'll be able to see some rainbows on your piece of paper. So that's one really simple experiment you can do after your rainstorm. Oh, I hope you all have fun with these. I had a really good time sharing these experiments with you. Yeah, Thank and... Thank you so much, Emmeline, for helping. So have fun at home, and we'll see you next time.